Hey there! Welcome back friends! My name is Shafi Yunus and in this tutorial we will learn about HILT modules. So in the previous video we talked about dependency injection in terms of field injection and constructor injection like that. We said how to inject the context to something but we won't do that here anymore. Okay so today we are going to learn about HILT modules. HILT modules. HILT modules are essentially a class of objects that tell how HILT can create and manage the life cycle of objects. So let's say that alert system, it's not a class, it's an interface and that we, so we can't do constructor anymore and that the, this class, this method is an abstract method, start alerting. This way we have to create and implement the interface in order to use alert system. Now this will break because the house and the hilt doesn't know how to create the alert system since it is an abstract class or abstract since it is an interface. Okay, so first we need to implement the alert system. Let's say we have an inter let's say we have a class called noise alert system. Okay, and this noise alert system comes from the alert system. So we need to override the methods, start alerting, and basically here we will do simple thing. We will do println noise and many noise. I don't know, something like that. Okay. Now we want to tell Hilt that in order to provide the alert system, you have to create this noise alert system. For the house, we want to provide this. In order to do that, we should create another class. I will use object, all right? And let's name it alert module, alert system module. You have to annotate that using two annotations. The first is the module on dagger. That's the first thing. The second thing is the install in. This basically means the life cycle of the created object in this module. So let's say we have a repository class that needs to live all the life cycle of the application. You will basically need to call it with singleton or singleton component like that. That means that all the objects created here or provided with from this module will be singleton. If you want an object to live only for the activity lifecycle, you can basically call activity component. Okay? There are a full list of components here. Here are the components. Okay? So there are singleton components, view model components, activity components, fragment components, and so on. Sometimes we want, for example, a repository to live only for the view model component, for the view model lifecycle. This, as I told you, means the life cycle of the object created here. Let's provide an object. We want to provide the alert system for the house. As you can see, there is no sign here that Hilt knows how to get this object. Go here and create a function. Name it whatever you want. Let's say I will name it provide alert system. Okay? And the return type of this method is the thing you want to provide. I want to provide the alert system. And here, you can create this object and return it. Okay, so I will just create the noise alert system like that. So simple, right? Now, in order to tell it that this is the method to do that, you have to annotate it with at provide. And as you can see, the sign is here. It means that this will provide the alert system. If you go back to the house, the sign is back. That means if you run the application now, it will basically work. Go to the lockout and see noise, 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 noise. Okay. As you can see again, we didn't change anything here. That's the beauty of it. We can manage the creation of its object using only hit. If we change this activity component, let's say to view model, view model component, it won't work. It will say that we couldn't provide this into something because we are providing this dependency for the 
and draw for the activity so we need to put it into activity or something higher there is a hierarchy in this we can of course use same gluten like that provide it and it will work and as you can see it is working just correctly so this is how you can do modules all right if you need some dependency for this if you need let's say that in order to create the alert system we want a context for example so let's say here where is the noise alert system in order to print this we are not printing it directly we will use the context okay so in order to do that we have to make a parameter called context okay it will be just a context you have two ways Okay, let's complete the example. Print context dot get string r dot string dot. Let's import it. Test string and it's text string. We will change it to noise, 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 noise. Okay, noise, 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 noise from the test string. Now, in order to provide noise alert system, go back to the module. The module in, is now having an error we can provide this from this parameter application context context and this will work correctly you have just to pass it and everything is supposed to work correct all right as you can see the sign is here it means that we know where to get the context as you can see noise is working if we change it here to be half -f 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 like that we we'll basically see the new string here as you can see we are using this one we are we are not using something else this is how you can create and provide objects from modules you have to keep eyes on the install in annotation with the components if you miss with the components it won't work let's say i will turn it back into activity component and as you can see it will work just fine if you turn it to view model component it won't work Okay, because this won't live in the view, view model component. And always try to see why we have in this error. It say that alert system cannot be provided with provide method. Sometimes the messages are misleading. So you have to dig dive and see why you are having this issue. Okay, so just we'll turn it to activity component. Now, sometimes we have two implementations for the alert system. We have noise alert system and i don't know lock alert system that will lock the doors how we can specify what alert system to provide for what class let's say we have two activities activity one is using alert system of noise and the second activity is using alert system of locking that is called providing multiple values we will learn about that in the next video thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next videos